Hi guys, it's Erin here. So I thought I'd do something a little bit different today. Uh, one of the things I really loved about, I, I love about Ottawa is that there's so many amazing furniture refinishers out there. And I like to call them artisans. So today what I did is I asked Camille from the Urban Upcycler to come in just so we can chat a little bit about uh, what her creative process is and kind of how she goes through everything. So if you haven't checked out Camille's page, you must go do it now. Her work is awesome, and I'm always amazed with some of the products that she comes up with after. So thanks so much, Camille. I'm glad you came in today. Thanks for having me, Erin. Yeah, so Camille, maybe you can tell us a little bit about, I know you've been refreshing, ref, refinishing furniture for a little while now. How long have you been doing this for? Uh, my business has been official since February 8, 2017. Awesome. But I uh, started uh, maybe a year before that just for finishing furniture for myself. Uh, my mom actually showed me how to do my first piece, so we did that together. Oh, awesome. And, uh, and then it kind of just grew into something else when friends and family started asking me to paint furniture for them. And uh, and then I decided I would try my hand at, at running this business, and cool. it's been fantastic. So when you first started this, were you kind of going in with the mindset that you were going to continue refinishing, or were you just kind of thinking of it like project by project? Kind of project by project. Um, I honestly didn't know where it was going to go and um, by chance I actually read an article in the Auto Citizen that you were featured in Oh, uh, cool. pretty much like a couple of days before it started and uh, you were talking about the refinishing community in Ottawa um, and I wasn't sure uh, maybe how well, how well I would be received in it or not necessarily that but like how well um, how I could find my clientele, my demographic so knowing that there is a large community in yeah. Ottawa um, but it's just the yeah. community is amazing. Yeah, and, and your pieces are awesome. Yeah. And that's one of the things that uh, I'm, I'm also interested in kind of seeing how people come up with, um, how they kind of get to their end result. And I've always been so amazed with um, some of the pieces you've taken. I've seen you before and some of your afters, yeah. and I'm also amazed at how you were able to take it from there mm -hmm. and, and to, to finish yeah. it. So like when you're refinishing, do you, do you already have a plan in mind of where you're gonna go with it? Like how does that all work for you? Mm -hmm. uh, sometimes, uh, sometimes I see a piece and I know exactly what I want to do with it and I know exactly which colors I want to use. Yeah. Um, I'm a fat pink artisan and I love the variety of colors that they have. Um, and then sometimes I look at a piece and it can actually sit in my inventory for a year, maybe more, um, until I just one day wake up and I have that idea for it. But it really just comes and goes in, in different shapes and forms. But, uh, and sometimes I start a project and I, I restart it. I have a piece that I think yeah. I've restarted like four times. <laughs> yes. But in the end, I'm really happy with how it showed up, how it turned out. So. It, it can be a longer process sometimes, but it's worth the work and you develop as an artisan yourself too during the process, right? Because you're learning different things. Yeah, 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 yeah true. That's awesome because I know for myself, and I've mentioned this, this before, when I'm uh, working on a piece, I kind of have, I have a range. Like sometimes I know exactly where I'm going with it and then other times I've had pieces sitting literally for months. Yeah. And I'm okay with that. It may not work if you have a smaller place and you don't have a bigger place to kind of store everything. But for me, that, that that's kind of how it works. I don't always get hit with the, I know exactly where I'm, I'm gonna go with it. So that's interesting too. One of the things I just wanna to mention too that I, I so love about what, what you do is that when you are kind of putting a plan together, I've seen where you've posted and you have like, you kind of drawn it all out and you have an idea so you already kind of have a plan and you kind of put pen to paper and I kind of love that about you. Is that something that you do all the time or is that just something when you, you know exactly where you're going to go mm -hmm. with it? It's actually just something I do sometimes uh, and I think actually as I've progressed as a furniture artisan um, I've actually just started weighing it more okay. um, so I would start a project now uh, maybe with just a vision in my head or just a color and then just kind of go with the flow um, but certainly, uh, especially when I started, it was important to me to do those sketches because I think I was hesitant or I was scared to okay. mess up a piece. Yeah. yeah. Um, but it is nice to do too if, if there's more detail to it. Um, for example, a sketch that I've done that I've actually had to restart um, the piece a couple times. Actually, I think that's actually the piece I did four times. Um, but the, <laughs> the sketch I did, that, I'm in there. Yeah. the sketch I did, um, I was trying to do an Art Deco theme because it was an Art Deco dresser, and in my head and in, on paper it looked really nice. Yeah. But when I executed it, it didn't work out right. Okay. So it's important to be 
um, adaptive. That's yeah. So just yeah. being flexible, and I think too, um, for me, if I know that it's it's not working, then it's just about changing it up. Yeah. So yeah. it's not the end of the world, and that's why I love using these paints. Mm -hmm. Like fat paint is fantastic. So is fusion paint, and if you're doing something that it just doesn't work out for you, you can just kind of repaint it. So you can kind of start over again. But that's nice to know. So you don't always know where it's going to go, yeah, and sometimes sense. things change. Because mm -hmm. I find sometimes that. Um, that sometimes I find that when I have people come in and if they don't know either the exact color or exactly where they're going to go with it, that sometimes it can really freeze them yeah. when they don't know really where to go in, the, in their kind of process, when it gets to the actual point when they need to start working on a project. So um, what would you say to somebody then that's just kind of starting out and, and is kind of hesitant about about painting like how um because you're, you're you're definitely and i love this about about your work you're you're a risk taker and i love i love the bold colors and it's it's very very artful um your, your quality of work so i really i always love seeing what you come up with but what would you say to somebody that's maybe a little bit hesitant yeah uh, i would say don't be scared um worst comes to worst you just restart the project i know that it can be a pain in the butt to do that sometimes but it's manageable, nothing, you're not going to ruin anything. Uh, and it's also important to remember that right now, it really seems like new trends are coming into the refurbishing world yeah. too, right there. And like, yeah. there's a lot of texture, there's a lot of uh, warm looks, there's a lot of uh, maybe industrial inspired pieces and such. So it's really hard to mess up a piece if you enjoy playing with those colors, enjoy playing with those textures and styles. and. Um, sometimes you just need to keep working on a piece and it will develop into something that you love, right? That's so, right, because yeah. the way that I've, I have always kind of seen refinishing is an art form. Mm -hmm. It's, it's yeah. art. It's just a different kind of canvas. Um, you're doing it on a dresser mm -hmm. or a table or, or whatever. So um, I think it's really important. You, you do what you love yeah. and you don't, you don't be afraid of it mm -hmm. because then you can just kind of yeah. repaint it and start all over again. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So, um, Thanks so much for coming in and uh, offering some of your some of your time. And like I said, if you guys haven't checked out Camille's work yet, you must go to it. Check out her page; it's the Urban Upcycler. She's on Facebook and on Instagram, and her work is off the hook. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Okay. Thanks, guys.